Hello all and welcome to the video which will probably change everyone's feelings towards me for the foreseeable future. Um, what I'm doing here is writing out all of the names of the places that we decided as a group would be potential going out spots. Now, in my initial thought, I was going to be able to fast forward some of this, but due to my lacking uh, capabilities in the video editing department, it, it's going to take a little bit longer than I was hoping for. Um, so, wrap up and uh, just keep watching. It, it doesn't change much. I like to flick through the camera angles a bit, but apart from that, there's not a huge change during this part. Uh, as you can see, I'm sure some of the ones that you each recommended here, you have Clapham Junction, South End, Monopoly Pub Crawl, South Bank, Bermondsey. list is, I was going to say endless, but realistically it's only 16. Um, yeah, it's quite actually hard to commentate on this. This one I've gone for a bit of a interesting angle as I start cutting up the paper. It's a... I don't know what to say about cutting up the paper. This house, by the way, you might recognise from work. Well, I don't know, Hugh, you probably won't. Felicia, you may well. Uh, you know, I, I, I realised this bit was going to be fairly dull, to be honest, hence changing of the angles fairly regularly. Um, really, really, a speeding up button would have been helpful during this stage. Another quick change of angle there. I am clearly a natural with the photos. If this bit's going to be hard to uh, commentate on, I dread to think what will happen at the next stage. You will see that when it comes. Oh, look at that. Mirror, mirror shot there. Just uh, still folding the papers there, uh, putting the drafted names into the hut, ready to be drawn out. Very exciting. Okay, so here is the draw board. I shall start the draw now. The first one to come out, Whitechapel. That was one of Hughes, if I'm not mistaken. That will go into the first spot on the last 16 board. My writing, neat as ever. Okay, let's go back into the pot. What have we got? Kingston. That, I also believe, was Hughes. That was his wild card. Uh, not particularly wild, Hugh. But there you go, nevertheless third out of the pot. We are going for... it is Camden. Right, that Camden we actually chose twice. Uh, well, we didn't in the end, I think we, we, we skipped one of them. But it's back in there now. Camden will be going up against Holloway Road. That was the first of my choices. Well no, Camden might be one of my choices as well. Oh, so there you go, uh, Hugh versus Hugh, and then uh, Anthony versus Anthony right there. Soho, that is the fifth name out of the pot. That definitely is one of Hugh's this time. Uh, Soho will be facing off against Leicester Square. Leicester Square is one of mine. I was thinking of that particularly a very nice bar called Waxy O'Connor's, an Irish pub, very interesting. We should definitely go there at some point, if not this one. Okay, South End is the next out of the hat. Ah, I remember what happens here. There's a, a quick flash because my camera ran out of battery. I had to recharge it and start again a little while later. And so it's South End against Monopoly Pub Crawl. 
Monopoly pub call, of course, would be a bit of a hectic one for a Sunday night. Uh, well, anyway, you never know, though. You never know. Okay, first onto the right side of the board is Bond Street. That was one of Hughes, I believe. Okay, and that will be going up against South Bank. The only place I can actually think to drink on South Bank itself is the. Is it owned by Record League? The uh, little wooden bit? We'll see. Um, Brighton is up next. That was my wild card. Got to mention that South End, back on the other page, was Alicia's wild card. And Brighton will be facing up against Bermondsey. Another of Hughes, if I'm not mistaken. They all seem to be Hughes. Okay, next out of the hat is Liverpool Street. That was definitely Alicia's. Place I know very well from my travels to Essex for university. Going to that station every other little week it was uh, lovely. Uh, Clapham Junction, that too was Alicia's. That one will go, and now there's only just two more in the hat. So the last ones are Ballum, which was one of mine. And then finally, that will leave. I believe, Chancery Lane. Okay. So, now we have completed our board. Uh, the next thing to do is to start the tournament itself. The tournament will be a best of seven coin flip uh, and the winner goes on to the next round, to the next round until the final, in which the winner will be decided. And now, for the coin flipping saga, I decided, I said best of seven, so four wins you the round. As you can see in the top left corner there, I've put heads for the first uh, team, if you will. Uh, tails for the second. This will remain the case throughout the competition. Uh, and there you go, Whitechapel wins that first round against Kingston. So Kingston is already out. Uh, you may notice that the first coin toss there happened in one location. Uh, this second one gone into the kitchen at, at work. Um, Obviously, maybe I should have been working a bit harder right at this point, but I was waiting for a taxi, uh, and there seemed like nothing better to do. This looks very much like, yes, and that is it, Camden is out, Holloway Road through into the quarterfinals. So as I was saying, the I've decided to do different places for every single coin flip, and this one is on TFL's very own bus, I believe the number 131. If you listen out carefully, you might be able to hear some of the announcements made by the lovely machine. Uh, a little strange decision, you might think, to start flipping coins on the buses, but it was late at night. Uh, and no one was really paying any attention to me during this. Okay, so this is Leicester Square versus Soho. It's currently level, what, two apiece? It's uh, a pretty repetitive little game, to be honest, uh, coin flipping. You get heads, you get tails, you don't get much else. But uh, it's got to be done, it's a fair way to choose a Brilliant location for the drinks on the Sunday the 20th of December 2015. Oh, and I believe that was a was that a win? It was a win for Soho. Okay, uh, now we are in the 
Sainsbury's car park uh, in Merton. A uh, strange decision again to, to go here. I was just walking on my way home and thought, you know what, this seems like a good a place as any to do another coin toss. Uh, this is for South End versus Monopoly Pub Crawl. Oh, dropped a coin there. Don't worry, still found it. Still heads. Uh, I, I was balancing my bag on a pole here just to get somewhere to lean on. It wasn't a brilliant idea, to be honest. People looking on must have thought that I was a lunatic on the loose. But never mind, as Monopoly goes through into the quarterfinals to face Soho. So, where will I go next? After the pop up. Oh, yeah, this is back to a normal one. This is actually in my wife's mother's living room. It's for the tie of Bond Street versus South Bank. Um, South Bank taking an early lead there. As you might be able to notice, I'm in my pyjama trousers, as I was having a little sleepover there. Very fetching, I hope you do agree. Oh, and that's South Bank with a whitewash there, 4 nil against Bond Street. Probably for the best, and Bond Street, well, from my knowledge of the Monopoly board, is quite an expensive place. Okay, this next one is on another part of London Transport. It is the Underground on the Northern Line. I was uh, with Callistra at this point. She was exceedingly embarrassed. Um, but, you know, some, sometimes you just have to do these things. You have to flip a coin on the London Underground and, uh, and record it. Uh, and just hope that no one thinks that you are going to hurt them. Because that's never what you want to know on the Underground. Oh, yeah, that's just to prove it, it was the London Underground there. Now, we went on the, on, on the, blah, 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 the London Underground because we were going to Hyde Park's Winter Wonderland. And so, ready to embarrass Calistra again, I get the coins out during our lunch. Uh, and go for Liverpool versus Clapham Junction. By the way, in that last round, Bermondsey beat Brighton um, to go against South Bank in the next round. So in this round, it is Liverpool Street versus Clapham Junction. When I was just eating a nice burger and chips. Well, the burger was nice, the chips were a bit cold. Um, but there you go, Clapham Junction wins that one in Winter Wonderland. Quite windy. Uh, this one, uh, I went out for dinner with the family uh, after Winter Wonderland. Quite an exciting day, this really, this Saturday. Um, this is the uh, Istanbul Mezi Mangal in Collierswood. Very tasty for all your Turkish needs. Advert there. Uh, this is for the Thai of. Ballam versus Chancery Lane, I do believe. Uh, yes, everyone was getting a little bit embarrassed at this point. And Ballam takes the win there. That's my sister. Okay, this is back to my dad's house. Uh, in his living room. We had just had a couple of glasses of wine. Ooh, commentating Lark is a bit of a, a bit of a chore, really. It takes a little while. Luckily, it shouldn't be too much longer. We are into the quarterfinals. Uh, Whitechapel heading off against Holloway Road here. I largely stuck to the two p and the one p. Uh, no, sorry, two p and the ten p for their shiny characteristics. Oh, it's a close one here between Whitechapel and Holloway Road, but there you have it, Holloway Road. Oh, sorry, Whitechapel takes it and moves into the semi-final. Okay, and that's uh, we're now into my dad's 
bathroom which is currently being redone. I just you know, thought I'd show another room because that's what, just what you do in this, in this uh, scenario. You don't want to use the same place twice because that would make an already fairly dull video uh, even more dull because you know what's what's more exciting than changing rooms the 90s show of changing rooms was actually quite quite fun good old carol smiley back in the day uh, and that's soho through against monopoly pub crawl okay oh here we get a, a guest tosser if you will um my sister she is deciding to toss some coins uh, not unnatural on, on the coin tossing circuit, uh, I've got to be honest. Um, but she wanted to take part and I, and I let it happen. Okay. This is back in, in my dad's living room. Admittedly, yes, this, this, this isn't a change of room, but it's a, a change of, of, of flipper. So uh, I, I'll, I'll let myself off for the uh, double in the same room. Uh, this, of course, is for Bermondsey versus South Bank, is that right? Um, yes, and that is a Tails, and where have we got... It is... Ooh, where's that gone? That's, that's fallen, and we have a win for Bermondsey. Say it out loud in case. <laughs> Moving into the semi-finals. Okay, the last spot of the semi-finals now. I don't think about that. Oh, there's a little little uh, view of my cat. Well, my dad's cat, technically. Ebony there. She is overseeing Clapham Junction versus Ballam. She wasn't overly fussed by the game. Oh. Okay. Cold in this room as I uh, record it. I'm shivering a little. That's because it is fairly late at night. I don't know why I have stayed up to do this, but then I did promise that it would be finished on the Sunday. And that is Balam through to the semi finals. I went for a different angle this one, um, just to change it up again, you know. It's uh, not a particularly flattering jumper that on me, I fear, but nevertheless, it's. Uh, Bit of fun, a bit of fun indeed. A lot of these coin tosses I try to just do as, as quickly as possible, just to get it uh, get it done. I was mindful that it was probably going to be a fairly long video. This uh, oh, oh sorry, I, I dropped the camera or something there. Uh, yeah, and that, what, what was that? What was that? Soho went through into the final there, beating Whitechapel four 0 Whitewash. Oh, here's Woody and Buzz. They are. Uh, my lovely toys. Very expensive those toys. Uh, Fifty pounds a pop. I don't. It was a, it was a strange purchase. I think you're probably going to find out a lot more about the stranger side of me after this video. I hope it's not too weird. It probably is quite weird. Uh, so yes, there's Woody and Buzz in my old room at my dad's house, looking over and. Getting through this second semi-final between Bermondsey and Ballam. And there you have it. Ballam through to the final to face Soho. Wow, that's a, an exciting final there. So what I decided to do was take a, a quick look at the route that the competitors took to get to the final. Soho beating Leicester Square, Monopoly, White, Chapel and... That's to get to the final, and then Ballam beat Bermondsey, Clapham, and Chantry Lane. This was the only footage I could find of Ballam, and the, the, the footage of Soho was, was far better. Uh, but the, yeah, the, the, the Ballam footage was poor, I'm going to be totally honest. So, moving away from that to the final itself. Uh, Soho being heads, and Ballam being tails. Soho takes the first point. But Ballam quickly draws level. And Ballam go, comes from behind to go into the lead. Very tense stuff here. Where will the night out happen? 
that was a heads Soho level again. Uh, tail Bannon back into the lead. Okay, it's very close. Well, that's a heads. It goes to the tiebreaker on the final. Uh, will it be Bannon? Will it be Soho for Sunday the twentieth? It is Soho, and Soho is the winner. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.